Hello and welcome back for another VeChain price prediction update and in this video I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the VeChain chart and also give you my next price targets and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording vchain is holding below the 20 day ma here on the one hour chart which is now acting as a resistance for us to continue gearing up we are also holding below a key area of resistance at around the 0 0.02 dollar mark and the moment vchain is able to break above that key area of resistance i will be expecting to see a successful retest before we can continue gearing up and continue unlocking higher prices we have also continued to obey the heavy 12 structures here on the vchain chart where you can see that after seeing the massive crash on the 10th of june in a breakdown move that gave us new bear market lows at around the 0.01322 dollar mark we started a very nice bounce to the upper side of being the edu 12 structures where we saw the formation of this wave one a breakdown move in the formation of that wave two then a wave three a wave four and then the wave five giving us a high at around the 0.0213 dollar mark completing the formation of these larger edu 12 count one then afterwards we started a breakdown move in the formation of this wave two in a movement whose minimum target areas i have highlighted here on the charts using this red target area which is an area that we didn't fully maximize though we saw a reaction of that target area and there are high chances that now v chain is now playing out in the formation of this larger a 12 count three to the upper side and i have two possible scenarios that i want to discuss with you in this video here on the v chain chart and the first one is suggesting that there are high chances that vchain has now bottomed out in the formation of this wave 2 seen a reaction of this target area and has now started an impulse to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and giving you minimum target areas to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave i get a minimum target area for the third wave at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0 0.0309 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect v chain to do in the formation of that wave three to the upper side and because of the impulsiveness in the formation of this wave three we also expect to see a five wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave three having the wave five fully maximizing our minimum target areas and i believe we are seeing such a movement here on the charts where you can see that after seeing the low for this second wave we have now picked in the formation of this wave one broken down in the formation of this wave two and soon we can start gearing up in the formation of our wave three before we can expect a wave 4 then a wave 5 to the upper side and giving you minimum target areas for the second wave using the fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one i have a minimum target area between the fib level 0 0.382 and the fib level 0 0.618 the area highlighted on the charts using this yellow target area which is an area that we have fully maximized and there are chances that we are going to see a reaction of this target area start gearing up impulsively see a break above resistance at around the 0.02 dollar mark get a successful retest continue gearing up see a break above the wave one high over here confirm to us that this is an impulse in the formation of that wave three continue gearing up and fully maximize minimum target areas for the third wave and giving you minimum targets for that wave three by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave i have a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0 0.02301 dollar mark 
and that is the minimum that we can expect that wave 3 to the upper side to do before we can expect a wave 4 then a wave 5 to the upper side that is the first possible scenario that we need to have in mind the alternative scenario is suggesting a bit of a short-term bearish movement though on the long term i'm still expecting higher prices in case v chain follows that idiot wave structure and that idiot wave structure is suggesting that we have not yet seen the low for this wave 2 and whatever we have on the charts is a corrective structure where we can term these as a wave a then a wave b and then we can expect one more new low in the formation of that wave c into the red target area highlighted here on the charts and once we break down in the formation of that wave c have a low in place for the second wave then we can start gearing up impulsively in the formation of that wave 3 to the upper side that is the alternative scenario that i have here on the vchain chart so for now we need to be on the lookout in case we see a break above the 0.02 dollar mark which is resistance and a break above the wave one high which is right here at around the 0.02124 dollar mark then there are high chances that we are back in an impulse in the formation of that wave three but in case we see further weakness expect one more new low in the formation of this wave c before we can start gearing up in the formation of that wave three to the upper side also taking a look at the indicators on the rsi we are trading at around the 44 mark suggesting that in case we continue gearing up that will still be supported on the rsi but in case further breakdown continues that will still be supported on the rsi on the macd we have been able to print a bearish cross suggesting further breakdown so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i will be keeping you updated